number one Iron Age booty daddy. Where do I even begin with this one? Okay, do I begin with how the right got baited into an argument that they're going to lose? Do I begin with how the left is absolutely idiots and comes to the table with arguments that just seemingly don't matter? Or do I begin with, you know, my issue with the whole thing and my preferences on the thing? You know what, let's go in that order because I feel like it's fun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to A Drink With Crazy. And I hope that you guys like what I'm doing here. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell because, well, I'm supposed to say that. I'm a YouTuber, that's what I do. So as everybody in my sphere of the internet may know, Dove released an ad a couple days ago, a day ago, whatever, and it was a body positivity thing, right? And they basically said that bigger is beautiful and you have to accept it because, well, we just say that you have to accept it. And the right, at least a lot of people on my side of the aisle, I saw tweets going out and things like that, and all of it was like they cannot redefine beauty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, beauty has been redefined throughout the ages. In fact, it was once that bigger women were considered wealthy and rich. Why? Because they had the sustenance to actually be bigger. They actually had the food to eat, and so thusly being big ol' and chunky was at one point in time considered a sign of wealth now the right came out and said oh they can't well it, the right my side of the i don't know they got trapped in an argument and here's where they got trapped in the argument in the argument in the ad that dove released they were trying to say that bigger is beautiful and this that and the other thing and we're happy with who we are, so you should be happy with who we are. And the right came out, and they said two things. They said one was correct, two was a bait, okay? So let's start with two. Two was that bigger is beautiful, and you can't say it's not beautiful, and this, that, and the other thing. And the right came out and said, no, you're wrong. Traditionally, you know, a certain body type is beautiful, and that's what people hold appealing, this, that, and the other thing. Here is why they're wrong. Okay, and here is where the right got trapped. They got trapped into a subjective argument, okay? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And before you say, no, look at all the supermodels and this, that, and the other thing. Guys, I know people in my life, okay, personally, who the bigger the girl, the dirtier the things they want to do to them are, okay? I know people like that. I know people all across the spectrum in that regard. Here is where my side of the aisle was correct. It is an unhealthy body style. It is an unhealthy life choice, okay? And by encouraging people to have an excess amount of weight on their body, not only will cause joint problems, it will also cause cardiovascular issues and many other issues that have been documented throughout the course of the last several hundred years since we've been doing heavy scientific research into it. The left, here's where they're wrong and here's where they're always wrong. They say, if you don't like how I am, get used to it. I am who I am and I'm just who I am. I'm never going to change. The problem with that is, and here's, here's the whole crux of the thing for me, okay? Okay. You are not special. Not to the world. No one is. You earn your right to be special to select people in your life, okay? The problem is, is that when people come out and they say that, oh, I am this way and I'm perfect the way I am. No, you're not. No one is perfect the way that you are. The problem with that line of thinking is that you have no drive, you have no want to become greater, you have no want to be more than who you are today. If your life sucks today, it's because you are not making the relative changes that you need to make as a person in order to make your life not suck. Trust me, I've been there. I know what it means to say, well, my life sucks. And you know what? For a lot of years, specifically financially, and I'll bring my wife into this argument, we blamed everything else on the planet, but we came to a hard line stop one day because we were about to lose everything we had and we had to realize it was our fault, it was us, we weren't perfect, we weren't good enough. And because of that, my wife and I got better. So for those out there saying, well, if you don't think I'm beautiful, that's because something wrong with you, no. 
That's because the people looking at you say, you're not my style, you're not my type. Okay? Big ain't beautiful to everyone. Again, I know some people that it is. I know some people that want to treat big as the down-home dirty... Never mind, let's not get into that. But I know people out there that love all different body types, okay? So the right got baited into an argument that was completely subjective instead of leaving it objective, okay? Bigger bodies are unhealthy. We know this. We know this for a fact. We know that it's being pushed by massive corporations right now because food is addictive. They put things in certain foods that you buy at the stores to make you addicted to those foods. So big people are slaves to the system because they are designed, they are being designed to crave the things that make them unhealthy. By being unhealthy, you then have more doctor's visits, you more you rack up more debt. Generally, we're actually starting to see the food starting to affect the brain and slow it down. So people who ingest a certain amount of bad food actually have cognitive problems. That is where the people on my side of the aisle should have left the argument. They should have stayed right there. They didn't. They decided to say, no, no, no. They're trying to redefine beauty standards. Guess what? You have your beauty standards. I have my beauty standards. And this gets into my conclusion. Here's where I'm at. For the most part, people are not attracted to bigger body types. A lot of people aren't. Most people are attracted to smaller bodies body types. You on the left, you ain't going to change that. And you know what? If you want someone to be attracted to you in the general population, work. Become that thing that you want somebody else to want. For me personally, okay, I see people describe women and how they want women. Here's where I'm at. If I see ribs or hip bones, guess what? It ain't attractive to me. You know why? If I wanted to see ribs and hip bones, I'd go watch a documentary on starving tribes in another country. Okay? Ribs and hip bones ain't attractive to me. If I could see ribs and hip bones, mm. But there's a difference between not seeing ribs and hip bones and seeing somebody that's an amorphous blob. Bigger ain't better. The right failed here. You got trapped into a subjective argument because beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. Different strokes for different folks. And trust me, I know dudes that are going to have that... You get where I'm going. Stop getting baited into the subjective argument. Big is beautiful to different people. Big is not healthy to anyone. Some people can control it. Most people can control how big their bodies are. For some people, it's hard to work it off. For others, it's easy to work it off. Stay objective in your arguments. Do not secede ground to these people. And whenever they say big is beautiful, your argument shouldn't be, they're trying to redefine the standards of beauty. Your argument should be, you know what? Some people it is. But to all people, it's unhealthy. Cardiovascular problems, okay? Joint issues, all right? And many other issues that come from having an oversized body weight. Oh, and by the way, you also have those problems if you're too underweight. Everything in moderation is what I was taught when I was younger. I didn't see a lot of that, at least on Twitter. Go out, stay a healthy weight for you. Stay a healthy weight for your family. And you know what? get with a guy and he's like baby the bigger the better and that's your thing go for it in fact most of the guys that i know that like that they're skinnier than i am but i don't know i just i needed to rant on this for a minute because i got so tired of seeing it i was just done i watched people fail in their arguments so epically that it bothered me and i guess Here's what I want you to leave down in the comments section. I don't like seeing hip bones and rib bones. It's gross to me. It's, mm. But do you? What's your body type? What's your flavor? What you like? 
who you know, how you do. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.